So quick recap, we've known that Mars has a very, very thin atmosphere. What new information has MAVEN revealed to us now? MAVEN has been focused on trying to understand the changing Mars climate. The geological evidence tells us that ancient Mars had liquid water flowing on the surface. It was abundant. There must have been warmer temperatures at that time. Yet today's planet is very cold and dry desert-like. MAVEN is focused on trying to learn why the climate changed like that. Where did the water go? Where did the carbon dioxide go from that early thick atmosphere? We're looking at the top of the atmosphere, trying to understand the role that escape to space from the atmosphere has played in that changing climate. And we're looking at the top of the atmosphere because that's the conduit through which the gas has to travel as it moves up in the atmosphere before it's stripped away to space. What we're seeing from the MAVEN results is uh, that, that the loss rate today, while it's only a trickle, must have been much greater in the past. And we think that it was large enough that loss to space was uh, certainly an important player, if not the dominant process in changing the climate through time. And when you say the dominant process, uh, the alternative would be that the atmosphere had been absorbed into the Martian soil? The atmosphere could either go up and be lost to space, or it can go down and the carbon, uh, the carbon dioxide could form carbon-bearing minerals uh, like carbonates. The water could uh, react chemically to form hydrated minerals or be present as subsurface ice. In fact, one of the, the problems, uh, one of the, the science questions of the Mars program for the past 20 years has been to look for carbonates on the surface that would tell us that the atmosphere has gone down. And we've identified them, but in such small amounts that it can't account for an early thick atmosphere. So now we're exploring the possibility that it went up and was lost to space. And so one of the big questions is, what does that mean for the potential uh, formation of life on Mars? Well, on ancient Mars, when you had liquid water at the surface, that meant it was possible for life to exist or even to form at that time. And, and that's the, the really big question about Mars today. Was there ever life? Could there be life today? As the planet cooled down and lost its atmosphere, if there was life at the surface, it likely would have been driven underground. It's hard to imagine life existing at the surface today. And so does this give you uh, a look at, you know, looking back over the history of Mars, more of a window of maybe when life could have formed? Or does it tell you anything about, you know, that history and, and what the environment would have been at more specific times in Martian history? We, we're really trying to piece together all the information into a single picture. And with Mars, the, the driver that tells us that there's been climate change is what we see in the geology. So. On, on ancient surfaces, we see things that look like they were formed by liquid water or flowing water, and that tells us what the climate must have been like. And we see a transition at around 3.7 to 4 billion years ago when it went from a, a, a wetter environment to a drier environment. And that probably coincided with loss of the atmosphere, cooling down of the planet, and uh, uh, less availability of water. So we're with, with MAVEN, we're looking at what processes played a role more than the timing of those processes and the timing of the change in climate. And one of the processes that is mentioned in this new work is uh, solar activity and how that may have actually stripped uh, the Martian atmosphere or stripped away a lot of the Martian atmosphere. And I want to ask you, you know, why didn't that happen to the Earth at the same time? The big difference between Earth and Mars is that Earth has a global magnetic field, and that has the effect of holding off the solar wind. It acts as a barrier through which the solar wind can't penetrate, so it stands off at a great distance. Mars doesn't have a magnetic field today, and that means when the solar wind comes in, it can impinge directly on the top of the atmosphere and interact with the ions and molecules there directly and strip them away to space. Now, we, we think that Mars did have a magnetic field early in its history, and it likely was the turning off of the magnetic field some four billion years ago that allowed the turn on 
of stripping of the atmosphere by the solar wind. Fascinating. Well, Dr. Joukowsky, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to space.com and congratulations on this amazing uh, spacecraft maven. Just really fascinating results. Thank you again. Thank you. My pleasure. Space.com.